put this on the other One cup of flour. <laughs> and we done one, I believe this was a tablespoon yeah, a of right extra virgin olive oil as close to holy and sanctified as you possibly can. <laughs> you pour this in. Yeah, so it's part of the A pinch of salt. Bitter herb, which this is super easy because you can get the herbs de province, and this has all of your bitter herbs in it. Bitter herbs. Guys, I know you're saying you're so far away. I know. Let me let me help you. I'm gonna turn around this way so you guys can see. My hands are still wet, so you know they're clean. And so these are our skillet right here. And some of the bread that's already there's dough. Oh. 
like the way it was. Yeah, yeah, I tried too, but I, I tried meant to get y'all. I meant to get you guys out there making the lamb. I missed it, <laughs> but you guys won't miss us eating it. Let me okay. get out your way. You know my way. I'm getting you on camera right now, sweetie. Mm -hmm. Say shalom. Mm -hmm. You so. That's so, my girl. I'm sorry. We'll say it. You're so funny, booby. You gonna just wave instead of saying shalom? Yeah. What she means, shalom. She loves you guys. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, my oh, he's over here. Oh, oh man. Oh, oh, I, let me not look. Let me not even look. Because if I look back there at this thing that they, this one they're trying to kill, I'm gonna be to mess something up. to the most high. Brother-in-law is a man-made or it's, you know, yeah. how you do it here, but that's, that's, that's my brother Israel right here, Yes. Man. You know what I'm saying? We feasting the most holiday. We feasting. House of Thomas. Feasting you know with House of Kings. Hello. All praise to the most All high. All praise to the most you know? high, y'all. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. Hallelujah.
Okay, we're gonna put it here. Put it in there. In the thing. I put it back in the uh, I put it back in the uh, okay. 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 You know, for you just to be like, well, no, girl, this is this, because I ain't know anything about vinegar or mm -hmm. the distilled vinegar or the organic vinegar or anything like that. Well, I thought you was on. What's the matter? Uh-oh.
Yes, I'm using plane. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say do the little. Oh. We were saying red, green, too, with the black and the red. Yeah. And the gray. We yeah. got the gray. Then we got the black and the red. And white. It's a family affair. All the time. All the time. All the time. Okay, Shalom. This is my king, my Adonai, my husband, and your name is Ish Tilla. All right, Ish. And what did you learn, or what did you like most about this year's Passover? Um, first of all, this was my very first year of me coming into the truth. <clears throat> What I liked about it was the camaraderie I had with a brother of ours yeah. and the sister of ours. Just learning new things. Um, what I learned, which what kind of baffled me, was that as long as I grew up in a Christian church, doing Passover or Easter, anything like that, it was always centered around more of um, the death and the rise of Christ. <clears throat> But what I learned was, and to me, it may be even, if not the same important, maybe more important, is that Passover or Passover is also about the the, the chosen people yeah. exiting from Egypt. Hallelujah. So that I learned that in the Christian, in the Christian churches. They don't really highlight that part mm -hmm. as much. And I think that's a part that really needs to be highlighted. That's the main thing that I learned. All this praises. All praises to the Most High. All well, praises. thank you so much you. for adding to this interview. And I think I'll go next. Okay. Tell me your name okay, and your age. My name is Riley Thomas and I'm 11. Awesome. And Riley, tell me, or don't tell me, you tell everyone watching what you learned this year at Passover or Pesach. That we don't eat uh, leavened bread, we eat unleavened bread, mm -hmm. and we feast, and and the, and the men do, does the grilling, and the yeah. women, they cook the unleavened bread. And, awesome. And yeah. Okay, did you enjoy Passover this year? I enjoyed it. It was amazing. <laughs> That's wonderful. Well, I love you. Thank you so much for doing this interview and letting us know how you felt about Passover. All right, love you too, Mom. <laughs> Shalom. Shalom. Hello, lovely. Shalom. Tell everyone your name and tell everyone how old you are. I'm nine. Mm -hmm. And what's your name? I'm Jane Thomas. Ruby Jane Thomas, nice to meet you. And tell us something that you learned or that you liked about Passover this year. Uh, I liked, I, I liked the unleavened bread. Very good. Did you like the fact that you got to make some unleavened bread? Yes. That was so fun and so amazing. Was there anything else you, that you liked? And, and I also love the lamb. Mmm, the lamb. It was so good and so amazing. Well, thank you so much for telling everybody what you learned and what you liked about Passover this year. Shalom. 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 My name is Rhea Thomas. And what I liked most about this year's um, Pesach or this year's Passover is just the ability and the opportunity to spend time to fellowship and to have a convocation with my brother and with my sister 
um, who are in the truth. Um, but they are not only just my brother and sister in the truth. They are my brother and my sister just in regular life. I met them both years and years and years ago. Um, and so it was just such a blessing to be able to bring in um, this particular uh, Passover, not only with my brother, and my sister from years and years and years, but with my husband, with the love of my life. Um, this is our first Passover as a family. So it was a huge blessing and an amazing opportunity. And I just give all praises to the most high um, for everything and for us being able to keep the tradition through generations.